Yeah, good, good to far away. Go. Yep. Righto, good to go. Thanks, guys. And it must be nice to, um, I, I guess, sort of settle into the squad after a, an unconventional season last year, and I guess sort of prepare for what's maybe a more regulation big bash experience with the distortions. Yeah, I mean, since I've come into the competition, first at the Renegades, now here, um, we've been in COVID bubbles and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's brilliant to be involved. Brilliant to be over to Perth. Uh, it's a lot warmer than what Melbourne is at the minute, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's a bit of a different look to the squad, with, uh, I guess particularly the batting is sort of uh, some of the bigger names there have gone different ways for different reasons. Um, mm -hmm. What's the vibe amongst the squad since you've arrived? Yeah, the, the squad's really positive at the minute. Um, I've played a bit of cricket around around the you know different competitions in the world now, and the Scorchers is definitely an organisation that a lot of batters um, and bowlers, for for that matter, are, are really keen on joining and, and getting involved with. So, yeah, it's nice to be at a destination club, and um, you know Perth, Australia has a lot to offer. It's almost been as bad as lead up as it could have been for you guys. You obviously lost Laurie, Phil, and Mitch. How, how you're feeling about that? So much up in the air the last few weeks trying to actually finalise your final team. Yeah. Now, well, look, internally we know we've got a lot of depth. Um, like Aaron Hardy, who's played Australia A cricket now and played a lot of cricket, you know, in Surrey in the UK. Um, and, you know, he, he spent a lot of the season last year on the on the sidelines. We've got Matt Kelly, who's in sort of the same boat too. So, um, yeah, internally we know we've got a lot of depth. So it's not really a concern for us, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and no, I'm Mitch Marsh, class player, um, and so many of those got, yeah, class players, and also class, um, you know, men to have in the team. So, yeah, huge loss in the dressing room, huge loss on the field. But um, yeah, as I said, we've got the depth to, to cover them. I think so. We're positive and, and pretty optimistic about the season ahead. Yeah, it's funny to think like whether or not he's going to have a breakout. I feel like he's already had his breakout. You know, we're all well aware of what he's capable of. So, um, yeah, like seeing guys like Hards, um, you know, take the next step. And, and also Hobbo as well, Nick Hobson, um, you know, he, he showed what he's got when he opened the batting a couple of times last season. So, yeah, we're really optimistic and really positive. Your game, what are you, what are you working on in the lead up to the competition? Is there anything in particular that you're trying to add to your game or is it just continue on from the last season? Yeah. No, we're, we're always looking to improve our games. Last year, I guess, I sat down and identified, um, you know, bowling to left-handers, left-hand batters is something that I wanted to work on. I've, I've gone away and, and after a season sort of in the UK and, and also playing in, um, in the UAE more recently, I've, I've spent time working on that. So I'm really, really excited to, to challenge myself against, you know, some of the best in the world in the Big Bash this year. I guess the loss of um, Mitch and Phil has been somewhat offset by the arrival of Bath, but you're looking forward to playing with, with someone of his... Uh, However. Yeah, yeah, and, and it goes back to that thing about, you know, Perth um, being a destination club and um, with a lot of guys around the world want to want to come play for the Scorchers. We've obviously had some success winning the tournament last year. Um, and yeah, Faf is, is someone who's a class player, you know, he's played in the IPL, he's played in a lot of different competitions and it's just exciting to see names like that, you know, come to the Big Bash and, and get involved. What was your reaction when you heard that he was going to be the international coach? Uh, yeah, like fantastic. Look, I was I was gutted for Phil and also Laurie as well. Um, it's it's obviously you know they're, they're great team members and uh, you know great squad members for us. Uh, so disappointed for them, but yeah, to have someone like Faf come in is fantastic. And for a younger guy like me, like I'm I'm really excited to learn from him um, and just absorb as much as I can whilst he's here. So. Yeah, and I have done that. Um, yeah, it's been great to, to travel to the UK. I played in the 100 over there. Uh, played in the Abu Dhabi T10s more recently. There are a few more drafts happening around the world. So, yeah, I'm really excited and really optimistic for, for what's ahead. But for now, we've got the, the big bash ahead of us, and, and that's the comp that I definitely mark on my calendar as, you know, the sort of the number one. So I'm really excited, and, and um, yeah, it's nice to leave the, the, the corporate world behind, I guess, and... and uh, yeah, go in two feet with with cricket. It's uh, it's a pretty cool lifestyle, and um, and yeah, I'm I'm really lucky to be in a position where I can do that. Yeah, 
too much. How are you feeling about playing it off the stadium? Do you think that uh, might start up here in Perth? Oh, look, I hope so. Uh, we'll see how we go. But um, yeah, uh, I've been really lucky to, to get support where sort of where I've gone. Um, and and yeah, I hope it, I hope it can continue. But look, we've got so many superstars in our side, um, like Mitch Marsh being one of them, uh, Josh Inglis, you know, another guy who we haven't spoken about today. He's he's in some red hot form, and um, and there's no doubt that he'll have a really good season. So you know, I guess uh, I guess it's it's yeah, I'm definitely in the shadows of guys like them, which is um which is you know I'm happy to do that. You would have watched Scorch's games in the past, I guess particularly at the Wacker and more recently at Optus Stadium. What's your impression? of furnace so to speak yeah uh the biggest crowds i have played in front of in the big bash have been at the furnace um uh i guess that that may partly be because perth sort of avoided lockdowns for a long period of time but um you know even watching like hoggy light up the furnace when i was a kid and stuff like that it's um it's something i've always i've always wanted to do play in front of a perth crowd and um and yeah i'm really looking forward to doing it sort of in uh in a non-covid affected way this year Yeah. Yeah. Um, look, I think I think what worked really well for us last season was we've got such a varied bowling attack. Um, myself and Ashton Agar, we offer different things entirely. Um, you know, he bowls his left arm off spin, I bowl my leg spin, um, and then we've got Jai Richardson, another you know um, really really gun fast bowler who's um, I'm sure he's not too far off playing for Australia. So. Uh, we've got a really well varied attack. AJ Ty bowling his slow balls at the death, and Jason Meridorf swinging him with his left arm at the, at the you know at the front. So I'm really excited to just work together with the bowling unit and, and you know just try and produce good results for the team. Is that what conversations have been? Is it sort of you know you'll get your chances if you can just sort of put your head down and work hard because who knows what happens in the international stuff and then you know depending on the matchups which the coach you've got to pick out. Yeah, it goes without saying. You know you've got to work hard and and when you play the scorches like you. You sort of you sign up to um, to a team with incredible depth in the squad, um, and your you know your 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 spot in the squad is always under pressure from from the guys next in line. So um, yeah, it comes goes without saying that you got to work hard and you got to keep um, you know like sometimes just waiting and biding your time for an opportunity because yeah we do have a lot of players who push for those Australian honours and and it's really cool and really um really awesome to be involved with guys like that. The imports are leaving in January. Have you thought about the fact that some spots are going to open up for guys like yourself and local guys towards finals and sort of at the business end? Yeah, we've got the imports leaving, but we've got Cameron Green coming in, don't we? So, um, look, that just goes to show again the depth we have in our squad. We're really, really positive, really optimistic. And, um, and yeah, as I said, we've got guys like Nick Hobson, uh, Matt Kelly, um, and so many others who, who, you know, it's funny to say they're in waiting because they've done so well when they have come in. So, um, yeah, we've not really got too many stresses and too many issues there. Have you got anything fresh up your sleeve? You've got a new ball for the Scorchers fans or something? Oh, yeah, a couple of wrong ones, a couple of slower balls. I'm working on it all, all the time, you know. Might even turn one back to the right-hander this year. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Is that the stuff that you working on? You spoke about the experience you've had since last year. Yeah, um, look, like most recently when I played in Abu Dhabi, I was bowling with Adil Rashid, you know, who did so well over here in the World Cup. So um, learning off guys like that is something that, that's been fantastic for me. Um, and, and yeah, I'm really keen on, on sort of, uh, yeah, bringing some of those tricks into the Big Bash this year. How closely did you work with him and how much of a help was he? And, and more specifically, what did you learn off him? Yeah, uh, he was he was a fantastic help for me. He look, Adil Rashid and I are totally different bowlers. He bowls sort of slower, big turning leg spinners, and I bowl my fast into the wicket sort of stuff. But um, yeah, for me in the past, I guess turning it away from the right hander has has been something that's been uh, a struggle for me, at least in Australian conditions where the balls probably or the pitches are less conducive to spin. But yeah, speaking to him about you know how I could adjust my bowling to sort of uh, better suit these wickets and rather than try and extract big turn out of the wicket, I can get bounce, which is something that's obviously, um, you know, like that, that happens at, at Optus Stadium, doesn't it? So uh, the other one was, uh, yeah, like slower balls and stuff like that. Me, like I'm, I'm sort of, uh, you know, I bowl that, that high, high pace leg spin, I guess. So being able to vary my pace is something that, that can also offset batters. Perth's um, had a lot of success, but they always seem to be the team that flies under the radar somehow. Do you feel like you're, you're flying under the radar again, especially with kind of all the changes to side? How confident is the group that you can go back to back and, and take out another title this year? Yeah, uh, look, as for flying under the radar, um, hard to say. I guess we've had so many um, changes within our team. It's it's sort of, there's been a bit of media attention around us, but um, but 
yeah, again, we're we're confident. We're um, you know, where we won last year, so uh, we we will just get together today, have a really good hit out, um, do the same tomorrow, and and look to just you know Sydney Sixers first game on the seventeenth. So we'll just focus on that. They've also got a really good squad. So yeah. Yeah, it's funny. My brother writes for the Herald Sun in Melbourne, and, and I had a look at his squad this morning, and he uh, he sent it through to me, and I said, "What are you doing, Max?" He's um, yeah, he, he didn't didn't include uh didn't include some of our boys, but um, I mean uh, that's fine. Yeah, flying under the radar. That's sort of our style, I guess. So, part of me. Fuel. Uh, yeah, like it's it's to be honest, like there's so much written about cricket right now that a lot of us um, a lot of us are. Uh, uh, maybe a sort of uh, yeah, switched off to it in a way. Like we just want to focus on our processes and our own sort of um, business, and, and we'll just sort of take it stride by stride. Perfect. Thank you guys. Cheers. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Peter.